Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all Call of Duty games for the Sony PS2. Call of Duty Finest Hour is a good World War II shooter. It follows the plot of three characters and because of that the setting always changes. You'll be playing with the Russians in Russia, fending off Germans, with the British you'll be fighting in Africa and with the Americans you are fighting the Germans on their home turf. And while the game is solid and definitely has the specific Call of Duty quality, you're better off playing the game on PC. Because here, on the PS2, you don't get checkpoints, not even in lengthy missions. The game saves only at the end of a level, or in some occasions during a level. But still, considering how lengthy the missions are, it's frustrating to die late in a level and be restarted at the beginning of it. Also, you don't get control when tossing a grenade. While on PC you can tweak the angle and the power, and you can also cook the grenade before throwing it, here you can't. You shoot the grenade in the exact same way every time. Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1 tells a different story than the PC version. Here you are playing with an American division that gets to see many fronts of the war. You'll be seeing various countries of Europe and Africa. And the game is engaging like all Call of Duty games of the period. The campaign is 7 to 8 hours long and has the usual variety of activities specific to World War II games. Aside of shooting, you'll be also doing other types of shooting like manning a turret, shooting planes or shooting from a tank. The game is great, it tells a different story than the PC version, it's engaging and if you're into the old Call of Duty games, you're most probably going to like this one too. In Call of Duty 3, you can see some big improvements over the previous games. The sound is better and even if it sounds like a minor improvement, it makes the experience more immersive. You can also control the power at which you throw grenades and you can also cook them and you can even throw back grenades at the enemy. And it's the first game to have regenerative health. In the previous games you had to collect health packs if you wanted to replenish your health, but here you just get to cover and wait for the screen to get less red. Other than this, there are other small improvements that all add up to make the experience even better than past iterations. Call of Duty World at War Final Fronts is good, but it has some problems with the AI. There are times when your teammates just stand there waiting to get shot, or other times your teammates push you out of the cover and the enemy shoots you. Also the game has more frame rate chucks than past iterations, but all in all you can still enjoy the game. I mean it's playable, sure the AI is annoying, I mean getting pushed out of cover is really annoying, but all in all it's, a, it's still good. Overall the games are great World War II games that will keep you engaged for 7 to 10 hours each. Sure, there are countless of World War II games, but even so, Call of Duty managed to remain on top. If you're into old Call of Duty games, or if you want to play some good old shooters, or if you want a good old World War II shooter, try out these games.